and start recording again. Okay. So, <laughs> so this was this was my quick uh, quick summary of how I see the uh, outline of the whatever you call this uh, this chapter or this short story. What do you call it? Uh, well, it used to be awakening, which is when Nock and Chaos got woken up by the, the team. The pickup. Yeah, pickup works too. <laughs> I mean. uh, okay, so in the second uh, video bit, I will try to restore my uh, immediate memories of, or like, I, I will try to reiterate the thoughts that I had on the main, 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 main arc, or more like the the story behind the main arc. Uh, and what's what's up with the skilf? So my idea was that skilf are not malevolent, but instead uh, skilf are interfering, or uh, they will start interfering with people because uh, uh, because humans have reached uh, certain l certain technological level, which allows them to do some stuff with the fabric of reality itself or with the multiverse fabric itself uh, that they don't fully understand and that will interfere with the habitat of the skilf who for the lack of better ter better term we shall call interdimensional naturals mm -hmm. <laughs> so so the the big assumption here is that uh, the skilf uh, are some sort of interdimensional beings, and like their their natural being is uh, uh, is the multiverse, uh, multiple realities existence, whichever way we don't. I I don't think we have to go in details here. I think they can stay a little bit mysterious in that regard. But mm -hmm. basically, now that humans have advanced in technology, uh, their actions are starting to. Uh, crumble the uh, the whole uh, reality multiverse system, and it's 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 as if you had mice in your house who have equipped themselves with power tools, but <laughs> don't quite understand that in their uh, jolly digging they are uh, threatening the structural in integrity of the house. So basically, uh, skill for up to some pest control and. Uh, and uh, they shall antagonize humans because of that. And uh, my, my proposal for a big arc resolution was also such that in the end our heroes might be able to uh, either persuade or convince of whatever so basically, they they will be able to. Uh, I don't know. Make a promise on humanity's behalf that we will stop doing what we're doing. Well, not that exactly, but basically, they they will be able to put the stop to the pest control by Skilf. Uh, it is not. It might not be the epic battle that Nox had written in the first version <laughs> of the story, but basically they they will be able to uh, put a stop to the pest control. But the humans will still have to face the re uh, the humans will still humans as whole ha uh, have to still deal with the whole we are the mice with power tools situation. So they will have a huge learning curve ahead of them. Uh, humans will have to learn how to live with this new knowledge that uh, our reality is not the only one and we are influencing like it's it's all one big connect interconnected system and uh, and the technology that uh, we've been using in this far future is actually meddling with certain interdimensional aspects and we will have to learn how to how to do better and there was also a sweet anal analogy somewhere in there that I think I got lost in the corrupted file. Uh, the analogy was that this this level of technology uh, that makes us the mice with uh, with power tools, this level of technology is 
to quantum computing as quantum computing is to digital computing as digital computing is to analog computing. <laughs> so there. You also made a point about the industrial revolution, which I thought was. Oh quite yeah, good. yeah, and and another analogy here would be the would be the industrial revolution is that uh, you have you have all these nice uh, steam engines, you have mass production, you will get nice things faster and you have, uh, you have bright lights in your home and all that shit. But while you're having all this, uh, you are also suiting up the sky and, uh, and you are shitting up your habitat. And the way forward is not to stop the industry altogether because it's nice to have nice things and it's nice to have electric lights in your home etc but mm. uh, but at the same time you can't you can't uh, keep on going the way you were going so something's got to give you have to learn how to how to do all that shit better so basically it's the uh, the the main arc resolution is akin to uh, I don't know uh, the um, the task ahead of the humans is is akin to the uh, people realizing that the industrial revolution has its uh, uh, has in has consequences that they will have to deal with and that they will have to learn to do things better yeah okay I will also stop recording here because then I will have this one in the jar <laughs>